Hello everyone, it's Kelsey Rana J here with a neutral look. This is the look that I decided to do because I was requested to do a neutral tutorial. And I use mostly drugstore uh, products for the eyes ex with the exception of the brown. So if you want to know how I did this look, please stay tuned and I will show you. Okay, so this is the look that I wanted to do. This is a quick neutral eye and I already have on my foundation and I use Lancome's Matte Dior Dore powder and I also concealed underneath my eyes with the Makeup Forever 5 camouflage palette and so today I'm going to use the majority of the colors out of this Wet n Wild color icon palette and I'm actually going to use this light color here and this light color there and a first, the first thing that you want to do is already apply your base and of course I used Urban Decay's Primer Potion Okay, so after you're finished applying that, go ahead and take the palette and you want to take the lightest color right there and apply that on your inner corner and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk small shader brush and I'm just going to apply that very, very heavily directly in my inner corner. Okay, and so following that color, you want to go ahead and take the next color that I showed you, and it's just a very neutral color, and I'm going to take it with the same brush, oops, I'm going too far over, and apply that all over the eyelid. Okay, so once you have that applied all over your entire eyelid, go ahead and take any brown that you have. And today I'm going to use Nars's Galapagos. And it is a brown with faint, well, very tiny golden shimmer. So that you can't even really see once it's on the eye. Once it's on the eye, it kind of looks just like a matte brown. So take any color that you have. And I'm actually going to use the exact same brush. And I'm going to apply that on the outer corner and blend it with the other colors and I'm actually going to take my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to blend that out more because I don't want the brown to be that pronounced I actually want it to be very light. See how it's looking very faint just like the other one. And I'm actually going to go back with this color and reapply it just to make it more pronounced. And make sure you blend it again. Then I'm going to go back with this brush to blend out the brown. Okay, so I think that looks very, very similar. So I'm just going to move on to the highlight. And the highlight that I'm going to use is the NYX Trio that I showed you in my last makeup haul. And I'm going to use this color right here. And that is the color that I told you reminded me of rice paper. And I'm going to take it and put it on with the same 217 blending brush. And I'm just going to apply that right above the brown. Okay, so next I'm just going to line my eyes with a liquid eyeliner and I'm using my L'Oreal Linear Intense Eyeliner. Okay, so moving on. So next I'm going to line my waterline with an Urban Decay pencil and this is the color in Whiskey. It's just a regular brown. And just apply that all in your waterline and on your lower, lower lash line. 
and I will be right back. So the next thing that you want to do is go back with Galapagos and set it underneath the brown that you just applied. And I'm going to take a small angled brush and this is also a brush by Sonia Kashuk which you can buy at Target. And I'm just going to run my brush in the product and then apply it on top of that eyeliner. Okay, so now you just want to apply a couple of coats of mascara, and I'm using my new Lancome mascara, and I will do that and be right back. Okay, so your look is almost completed, so the next thing that you want to do is just select a blush, and I'm going to use the mineralized blush that I also showed you in my haul video, and it's called Cheek and Cheerful, and it's by MAC, and I'm just going to apply that very lightly to give a subtle glow on my cheeks with my Eco Tools brush. Alright, and so, and the last step will be to select a lip gloss, and I love Max lip glasses, so of course that's what I use like 90% of the time, and this one is Ember Glow, and I'm just going to apply that on my lips. And that's it. I hope that you all enjoyed this neutral look and I hope that you all will create it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. Until next time, smooches!